Welcome back everybody, day 28. We're going to start hands and knees. A few dips and domes, breathe in to drop. Exhale to dome, even push the hands harder. Inhale to drop down, look up. Exhale to lift. Inhale, dropping down, arching, feeling that in the lower back. Exhaling, doming, pushing the hands, even wriggling a little bit, feel it through the shoulders. One more each, drop down, looking up. Exhaling, doming, tucking the chin. Bring the hands back closer, fingers spread. Just a little bit of wrist warm up, circling, putting pressure down through the wrists, both directions. And then turning the wrists forward, fingers back as best you can. Lean back there, take a few breaths, maybe even tease a little bit left to right. Awesome. Lean forward, fingers forward. Tuck your toes, downward dog. Pedal through your heels. Find a shape that feels good, teasing out the tissues. Maybe pushing the head back towards the feet. Feeling that stretch under the shoulders. Lifting the tail more, trying to push the heels to the floor. Take some breath. Awesome. Raise the right leg nice and high. I'm going to do some tigers. Turn the toe out to the right. Foot is flexing back. Exhale the knee into the chest. Some of you coming forward into that tiger position, that plank. Shoulders push down into the floor with the hands pushing as well. Inhale, leg goes back and up. Three-legged. Exhale, knee to chest, shifting forward. One more. Take it back and up. Exhale, bring it forward, step it forward. Runner's lunge. Lower the back knee, inhale the arms up by the ears. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, sink deeper. Push back with that front foot, breathe in, slightly come out of it. Exhale, go in deeper. Well done. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Deeper, squeeze that left glute that will help open up that left hip. One more, push back with that front foot. Exhale, sinking in. Right hand to right knee, left arm lifts. Hold the head with the hand and then lift that left elbow, push it to the ceiling. You lean a little bit to the right. Breathing. Left hand comes down, right hand up, simple twist. Maybe that right hand can really spin out further behind you. Push back into our half splits, front toes lift, right hamstring being active, head folding forward. Come forward again. We're going to lift up into pyramid pose. Left leg comes a bit closer. Body's resting over that right leg or on the right leg. Either staying here or coming into standing splits. Hands step forward, creating a triangle with the hands in that right foot. Left leg lifts up. Some of you may be able to bend the knee. Reach with the right hand for that foot. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Maybe some of you can even hold the ankle with the left. Amazing balance here. Hands come down, that left foot goes back, pyramid pose. Come back into a runner's lunge, so that left foot sliding back further, right knee bends. Reposition the hands to push back to that three-legged downward dog, right leg lifts. Bend the knee, for those that want to flip it, right foot pushes out beside the left foot, 
flat on the floor, left shoulder above the hand, push on that right foot to lift the hips. Right arm, maybe it can come up over by the ear. If you need to drop down, please do. Slowly flip back, downward dog. Be gentle with the spine here. Other side, left leg lifted up. Turn the toes out to the left. Pull the toes back to the knee as well. Exhale, knee into the body, either here or maybe shoulders over wrist. Tiger. Inhale, left leg goes back and up. Exhale it forward, knee to chest. Coming forward if you feel, keep pushing the hands, be strong in the shoulders. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, step it forward. Runner's lunge, holding here, breathing. Lower the back knee, arms lift up, kneeling lunge. Squeeze that right glute, push that left foot into the floor to sit back a little. Hips come back, exhale into the lunge. Squeeze that right glute, push the left foot back, two more. Exhale, squeeze that right glute. One more, push back. Inhale, exhale, come forward. Just hold here. Left hand to left leg, left knee, right arm pushes up. Bend the elbow, hold the side of the head, push the right elbow up. You should feel that down that right side of the body. Right hand comes down where the right foot would be, left lifts, simple twist. Maybe that arm can go way back behind. Breathing. Once you've found the shape, it's coming back to breath. So meditation, that moving meditation through the postures. Whether it's yin, where we're holding for a long period, or this small yang flowy, maybe five breaths maximum. Not always, there's no real rule. And then bring that hand down. We're gonna push back into our half splits. Left leg's trying to straighten. Toes pulling back of the left foot, folding through, breathing. Oxygenizing the system. Step forward with the hands, lift the back knee, runner's lunge, shuffle it forward. So coming into our pyramid pose, leaning over that left leg, head can be heavy. Either hanging out here for a few more breaths or coming forward, standing splits, right leg lifts at the back, left foot's taking the body weight, maybe bending the right knee, reaching with the left hand, head is heavy, maybe you can release the right hand so you're really just balancing on that left foot, holding the ankle with the right hand, pushing the left foot up into the left, pushing the right foot up into the left hand, creating tension there. Release the hand, step back to our pyramid pose. And bend into that front knee. Coming back to our runner's lunge, adjusting as you need. And then we go back to three-legged downward dog. For those who want to flip it, bend that left knee, drop that left foot outside the right. Foot comes flat. Maybe you can push the hips up. Right shoulder over right wrist, protecting the shoulder. Maybe that left arm can really flip up and over. Hold some breath here if it feels safe. Come back. Lower the knees, elbows bending all the way down. Either sphinx, elbows under shoulders, or higher, lifting up into our seal pose. Wherever you are, Close the eyes and breathe. OK, 
Come back to elbows if you're in seal. Drop the chin forward, let the back of the neck be heavy. Lower down, elbows under shoulders. As you inhale, come up to cobra. Floating the upper body, the hands, squeeze the glutes, shoulders drawing down the back. Breathing here. Dropping down. Lift up, inhale. Shoulders pull down, elbows try to squeeze in. Legs off the floor. If you want more intensity, fly the arms forward. And dropping down. Bend the knees, windscreen wipe the feet, side to side. Tuck your toes, gently push back. Wide knee, child's pose. Knees are wide, arms can stay in front, maybe at elbows, maybe the chest is sinking down. Some of you will be on the elbows with the forearms. Hold here and breathe. Walk your hands out to the right with your elbows, aiming for that left arm to stretch out. Stretching left groin, left arm under the shoulder, right hands flat. Come back in over to the other side. This time the left elbow forearm can take the body weight. Right arm stretches out on the diagonal. Still feeling that groin stretch, being with the breath, with the body. Gently come back to center. Draw the knees closer. Tuck your toes, push over into a squat. So whether you bring the feet flat, hands in prayer if that's possible, maybe the heels are off the floor, wherever your squat is. Again, we're coming near the end of our 30 days. So just working with what works for you. Hopefully you've learned along this journey, the posture or the position or that hand placement, foot placement that works best for you. If you're still figuring out, totally fine. It's all part of the practice, that play, that experimentation. Hands come down, lift the hips, feet will start to face forward, roll up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Working with bundas, toes are out at an angle, coming into a warrior, hands resting on the thighs, thumbs on the inner thigh. You can even push the shoulders down or hands into the thighs. Deep breath in through the nose, belly expands out. Exhale through the mouth. Keep the air out, suck that belly up and under, push the hands, drop the chin. Base lock is on, that squeeze the perineum, belly lock, chin lock. When you need to inhale, lift up, fold forward. Two more, roll up, coming down. Deep breath in through the nostrils, belly expands. Exhale through the mouth. Keep it out. Belly pulls up, perineum, chin lock, drop the chin. Release forward. One more, come up. Deep breath in the nose. Belly expands out through the mouth. Space lock, squeeze the belly up and under, chin lock. Holding here, maybe you're whipping the belly out and in. Release. Left toes are out on that diagonal. I want you to bend the left knee over it, coming into Skandasana, that Cossack side stretch. Heel may be lifted. Right leg is straightening, feeling that huge groin stretch. Maybe you can lift the toes up to the ceiling. As I did that, 
my left heel came off the floor. Totally fine. Just be aware of how the body's moving. Crab walk over, hands stay in front of the leg line. Left toes lift if that's possible. Right knees bending, breathing here. Some of you may even be able to do different positions. That foot can come flat. Maybe looking at the toe, the drishti points, the eye focus points. We haven't really talked about them. There's another layer to add. Some of you may be able to come back to that first side without using hands. Give that a go, otherwise crab walk over. Be mindful of your joints, knees, groin, your balance. So coming back to the final side, if you can, try without hands if that feels appropriate. Be mindful of your hips. Quite a lot of strength needed. Breathing in this shape. And come back to center. Toes are facing forward, thereabouts. Breathe in to roll up. Roll the shoulders, walk your feet in. Give it a shake. Working with the balance. Right foot's taking the body weight. Left knee comes in, hands to prayer. Toes are active, pulling back to that knee. As you inhale, pull the knee up. Exhale it out in front of you, straight. Inhale that straight leg up. Exhale it back into the body. Slowly take it out to the left as you breathe in. Exhale it back. One more up. One more out. Then with control, try to take it behind you, really slow. Maybe just dropping that left toe down, squeezing that left glute, or warrior three, where you start to tilt forward, right leg's taking the body weight. I bend my right knee, you might like to keep it straight and locked out. Arch a little bit like we do with Cobra. That will keep the back strong. Again, yeah, maybe you're in warrior three parallel to the floor. Some of you will enjoy coming down into our standing splits again, if that feels appropriate. Two more breaths, wherever you are. If you're forward, that left knee comes into the body, push on the right foot, really hard to stand back up. Final workout of the thigh and hip flexor. And your balance. Left foot takes the body weight. Inhale that right knee in, toes pull back, hands to prayer. Inhale the knee higher. Exhale it out straight in front. Inhale that straight leg up. Exhale it back into the body. Slowly out to the right as you breathe in. And in as you exhale. Inhale it up. Exhale it out straight. Then with control. Slowly take it back behind you. Maybe it's just touching the floor, your right glutes on. Maybe it's just off the floor. For those who want to come forward to warrior three, arching the back, keeping the back line strong, shoulders pulling down, right glute is on. That standing leg, maybe it's bending, maybe it's locked out. Be mindful of hamstrings. If you can come forward, give that a go. Right knee into the body, push on that left foot, try to stand up with that knee into the chest. Exhale, drop it down. Hold well on. Come down to the floor on our backs. Do our figure four stretch. Right over left, that left knee pulling it in towards your body, getting that stretch in that outer external rotator. You can move the knees a bit side to side. Keep breathing. We'll swap over, left leg drops down. And then you bend the left ankle over the right, pulling that in, holding here, 
breathing, maybe rocking a bit side to side first. And then slowly lowering that left leg down. Shoulder stand. So, some of you might enjoy just having the feet up towards the ceiling or legs up a wall. If you've got a block or a bolster, you can always bring that block under hips, legs up. And this could be a nice starting point just to help with the core, because what we're trying to do is getting those legs up and over, elbows or arms and palms pushed down, the hips lift and you're supporting that lower back. Maybe the legs are on a deep diagonal, maybe they're a bit higher to the ceiling. You can walk your hands down the back, always be mindful of the neck here, breathing. I will show some variations in a video very soon in Yoga Fundamentals. You can use a rug underneath the shoulders with the head dangling off the back of that rug for anyone with tight erector spinae muscles, neck muscles down that back. Or even if you've got bones in the neck that don't bend as well, that's the other possibility with why some people don't like this shape. In this position, most of the body weight's in the middle part of my back, not too centered on my high neck. Slowly, slowly roll down. If you've got that block or bolster there, be mindful. Just lay flat onto the floor. A little mini Shavasana. Take some breath. Turn the head to the right and turn the head to the left. Do that one more time each way, ear to the floor. Just gently rock yourself up to a seat and we'll do a nice variation of fish, good counter pose, just sitting. Hands are either beside the body and you drop down on forearms, elbows, you can adjust as you need. Lift the chest up, be mindful of your neck, squeeze the shoulders backwards and try to let the head fall back. Getting that blood flow change into the center of the brain, pituitary, pineal gland, master gland of the physical body, the hormonal centers, endocrine glands. Slowly lower down, all the way to the floor. Turn the head left to right once again. And just as a nice counter stretch, both hands holding the head, pulling the head, the chin in towards the chest. Let the head come back down. Just three breaths here. Gently coming up for some alternate nostril breathing. Rock yourself up and coming into either a chair, a bolster, a cushion. So, hand coming to the nose, whatever variation combination. Point of finger, middle finger, just gently closing one nostril at a time or blocking like a little cork with the thumb across one nostril at a time. Eyes are closed. Close the right nostril, inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. In through the right side. Out through the left. In left. Out right. In through the right. And out left. In left. Out right. In through the right. Out left. In left. 
out right, in right, out left, in left, out right, in right, out left, in left. Out right, in right, out left, two more each side. that final side breathing out through the left release the hands just resting for about a minute in silence observing the breath And then gently laying down in Shavasana. Allow the body to give in and let go. Shuffle and wriggle. Take a deep breath in. Sigh the breath out. Letting go.
And just very gently, just very gently, and just start to become aware of your body in this space. Once again on the floor, consciousness is returning. Fingers and toes can be wriggling. Breath can be deepening. As you start to stretch your arms above your head, lengthen, roll to one or both sides, arching, or one side in recovery. Slowly push yourself back up to a seat. Take a deep breath in, hands to prayer, back to the heart, that respect for self as we integrate both hemispheres of the brain. Reflecting and pondering how the body feels, how the mind and emotions are moving, and how the energy is sitting. Take a deep breath in, inside out. <sighs> nice deep breath in for Ong. And that vibration, sealing it at the eyebrow center with the back of the thumbs. Clear thoughts to our lips, vibration of positive and good speech. To that heart space to channel that feeling of love for self, each other. So we bow in thanks for the teachings. Have an awesome day and we'll see you tomorrow.